right, this is class number one of Beginning Charleston, and we started out with some basics. We talked about Charleston, we did a lot of kicks. So um, we talked about having us uh, bend in our knees, we have kind of an athletic stand going forward on our feet. Um, and our upper body has a little tilt so that our upper body is over our knees, over our toes. And we learned how to do some Charleston kicks. So we started with just taking basic kicks right into the floor. We want to keep them right in front of us. Um, nothing too far out or up. We're just pointing down with our kicks. So we did single kick. We did one, two, three, four. Then we did two on the right and two on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that was our kind of our basic um, pole adjust that we learned that we would build on next week. Um, we talked a little bit about how you can add as much energy into this as you want. Your basic should have balance in it, and whether you get off the floor when you do your hips is up to you. You can you can actually leave the ground, or you can stay on the ground and don't jump, but you still have to have that balance um, throughout all of the car. And then we did our basic footwork. So we learned these separately, leads and follows. Jillian's leading, I'm following. We started with um, basic 20 Charleston, and then we built up from there. 20 Charleston looks like this, we tap back, we walk forward, tap forward, go back. Tap, step, tap, step. And then down, our rock, step, in, back. Step, step. And then we started adding kicks. The final trial looks like this. So rock, step, kick, step, kick, pull, kick, step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can practice this as much as you can um, because this is the basis for everything that we're going to do in the rest of the class. That would be great. We did partner up after that. <laughs> and we uh, have the lead hand in the middle of the hollow back. Fellow hand is resting on the lead arm. And then we did the basic with our partner. It does travel forward and back. So we practice um, making sure that the lead keeps their arm next to them at all times to bring the follow with them. Follow is staying subtle into their arm and moving as much as the lead does, forward and back and also bounce wise. So we practice a little bit of this idea of having small, like making our pulse so that little bounce from our center of our body is kind of small. And then we tried making it a little bit bigger, and we did our Charleston footwork on a little bit bigger. And then follows, you're just staying connected to your partner, and you're feeling those changes and trying to match them as a follow. We are dancing kind of small, you're trying to match that. Bigger, trying to match that. Next week we'll do more fun stuff. That's it.